Hi, I'm Carly and I'm an actor at Scarefest and I am also part of a makeup trailer. Um, I was asked to film a couple small quick and easy makeup tutorials for people that want to do their own makeup for Scarefest but aren't entirely sure how to do it. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I did one with like bruisings, hollowing out the face, and a small cut that we do in makeup trailer. Um, because we don't use liquid latex or anything like that because it takes way too long and the idea of makeup trailer is to get people out in and out really fast. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do a face painting one today because I thought that I would put out a little bit of variety for everybody to kind of pick and choose. I'm not really sure who's going to end up using these videos or if anyone's going to end up using these videos. but. If they do, I wanted to provide a little bit of variety, so I picked a couple quick and easy face paints to do. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna use water activated paint that's, I always say this wrong, I always say mehron. I actually think it's mehron, but I pronounced it mehron since I got into makeup, and I've just gotten used to that, so it's not gonna change, sorry. Um, but it's Paradise, Paradise Makeup AQ Face and Body Paint. I just have, this is what it looks like, and then I just have white and black. It's all I have, but it's water activated, so all you need is water. It's awesome. Um, but if it rains, it will run. But any makeup really is gonna run in the rain, unless you have like super, super high-end stuff, so it's okay. Um, also, quick note on sanitation, if you are doing your own makeup and then going to do it on your friends as well, clean your makeup and your brushes in between each person. Um, in school, we just kind of sprayed rubbing alcohol onto everything, and then you can use like brush cleaner or rubbing alcohol for your brushes. It's just going to dry your brushes out really fast. Also, for um, special effects, just get like really cheap paint brushes. From like any craft store because special effects kills your brushes you go through brushes very quickly um so why spend ex money on expensive brushes i did go to makeup school and they gave us a couple really nice brushes they're um i'm gonna butcher the name of these b delium tools sfx and they're just, like really nice but there's a little bit of blood on this one. I have to clean this one, so we're not going to use it today. Um, but why spend money on expensive brushes when they're going to die very quickly? But I'm going to do, I'm only going to need to use white and black water based paints today. So awesome. Maybe a little bit of eyeshadow, if anything. Um, but yeah, I went to makeup school, so if you ever hear me saying back, when, like when I was in school, we used this and this, it's, I went to makeup school. So um, first things first, I am going to kind of outline what I'm going to be doing in black with the black paint. You could use eyeliner, pencil, anything you need. This is just filled with water. Um, to outline, I'm just going to use the paint. And I'm going to take a small brush. And if you're doing makeup on your friends for another sanitation thing, it probably would be in your best interest to depot your makeup onto your own little palette put on that. But if you don't feel like doing that, just make sure you're cleaning your palettes. It's, it helps everyone when you keep everything clean. It's, I don't know, I love keeping my makeup clean. It's <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna kind of outline around the eyes, these little eye shapes. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just like a rough outline. So we know we're not put the white paint. Now I only use this makeup on myself, so I'm not gonna worry about having to like depot it or anything.
do we have our clinic now up open? Um, I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush and activate my white paint. And just start painting my face white. Oh, had too much on the brush. Now you don't really have to worry about covering your eyebrows unless you absolutely want to. I'll probably, even though I cover this all in white, end up taking the black all the way up there so it's just easier to cover them like that. But also, like, it's gonna be nighttime, it's gonna be dark out, so if you don't want to necessarily cover your brows, don't worry about it. Unless you absolutely want to. But like, I, w I wouldn't worry about it. And like I said, if you just take the black all the way up there, you're basically going to cover them anyway without having to put a bunch of stuff in your eyebrows. Now you don't want to, you want to try and keep your layers of this paint really thin because it dries and you can feel it and it's kind of feels gross. but. If you do too many layers, it might start to like crack. Um, I don't know for sure. I haven't used this makeup a lot, but it just feels like one of those things that if you put too many layers, it will end up starting to crack. I'm gonna go ahead and cover my ears too. Now, I never take my piercings out. I just wash them in the shower, like make sure I get really, like clean them really deeply in the shower. Um, but hey, feel free to take your piercings out if you want. It's kind of just personal, personal preference. Get this stuff all up in your ear. Basically just cover any exposed skin with this. Like if your neck's gonna be showing, paint your neck and all that fun stuff. So when it makes sense, if your face is white but your neck and ears are regular skin tone, it just kind of kills the illusion a little bit. I'm just going to wait for that to dry before I put my neckline back down because I really don't want to get this shirt any dirtier than I have to. <laughs> I've never gotten this paint on clothes before, so I don't know if it comes out. like. But it's water-based, so I'm assuming it would. Just don't take my word for it. So try to be kind of careful. Okay. So now we should be done with the white. I'm gonna move back into the black. It's gonna go in and paint the mouth. It doesn't have to be perfect. we're going to be adding a bunch more to it. Okay. Now be careful with this around your eyes. You don't want to get it like actually in your eyes. So I'm just going to fill in all the empty space that I can and then go in with like grease paint and black eyeshadow. And like it's gonna crack, you're gonna crease, and it's fine. This is just black eyeshadow.
So now we are gonna go in with our black. And that, just put a little bit more water in it to make sure it's activated. We're gonna take a thin brush. I'm gonna do a couple different like sections of thin. So this is like not my thinnest. I have a thinner brush than this that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna go into the black lightly. Don't use a lot. Maybe dab some off into a, a towel, paper towel, and then just drag up and just draw a shit ton of lines. Try to make them look like they're coming out of the mouth and stuff too. And in order to make them look like they're like attached to this, just kind of draw like a small triangle like that. And they, and then just kind of like pull up the top. Just kind of draw quick lines, no rhyme or reason to them, just very quick lines. Once you get your bases, based ones down off your face, like mouth and eyes. And you do want some gray lines in there too, so just kind of run dry brush them on after you get some big nice black ones on. And really I guess you could do this with any color. I'm sure it would look cool if you don't want to do black and white. And now I'm gonna go in with my thinner brush. It's the brush I use for like vein work and stuff. It doesn't look thinner, but has like a much finer point to it. down so it covers my skin line. That's it. Now I close your eyes. It might grease a little. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's a quick little fun, somewhat spooky. And you just draw tons of lines. You want to try and get different textures and like different like thickness lines like that. And yeah, make sure you get any exposed skin. Yeah.